السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ کنڈکٹنگ کو کریکولر ایکٹیویٹیز بیسڈ آن آبجیکٹو از اے چیلنج ان ایٹ سیلف آر اسکول پرلس اکیڈمی ٹوک اپ دس چیلنج بائی انٹروڈیوسنگ دا پرلس اکیڈمی اسٹوڈنٹس پارلیمنٹ آن دا سیم ورکنگ لائن ایز آر ڈیموکریٹک گورمنٹ دس ٹائم الیکٹورل سسٹم واز انٹروڈیوسڈ ٹو دا اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو گیو دیم فرسٹ ہینڈ ایکسپیرینس آف دا ہائیسٹ گورننگ باڈی آف آر کنٹری دیٹ از دا پارلیمنٹ The objective behind this process was to inculcate sense of responsibility among the students to make them understand their rights and duties they need to shoulder along with their studies, to make them understand the democratic working system, to provide a platform to grow the confidence level of the students, to make them a responsible citizen. The elections followed all the rules and steps starting from the declaration of posts. Nominations were filed by the students. The criteria to file the nominations included academic performance, participation in co-curricular activities and discipline. After nominations were filed, different groups of students campaigned for their leaders in the school premises. It followed by voting on ballot papers by all the students. Counting and declaration of the results was done in a very official manner. A grand investiture ceremony was organized. Chief Guest Police Inspector Mr. Shakil Ahmed presided over the function. The ministers with a high spirit took oath to fulfill their duties. The Pearls Academy Students Parliament comprised of President, Vice President along with a cabinet of 12 ministers which were Minister of Education, Arts, Finance, Sports, Cultural Affairs, Social Activities, Food and Health, Tours and Field Trips, School Property and Maintenance, Transport, Cleanliness and Discipline. There were nine Deputy Ministers which were Deputy Minister of Education, Arts, Sports, Cultural Affairs, Minister of Food and Health, Tours and Field Trips, School Property and Maintenance, transport and cleanliness a post of mc was introduced along with echo club board which included one secretary and two members cabinet meetings were scheduled on base regular basis by the parliament members it was ma- mandatory to attend the meetings assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i am sulaim rasvi the president of pearls academy students parliament and i am having many responsibilities my first responsibility is to check the school is going in the flow of discipline i have to coordinate with all the students and check and solve their issues uh, in bus mic should be there because since our mic is not working okay and online shouting on us that girls don't read up on us whether it could be in sports academics or as well as discipline issue my second responsibility is to lead the school parliament assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i khazi akhra fatima was nominated as a vice president and after elections was held for the same position my work is to look after working of each and every minister and the discipline of students Also my duty is to work for the betterment of school. As a vice president of students parliament, I tried to maintain discipline in the students. I helped in many of the school events such as Ramzan market which was done to gain the profit to manage the event of joy of sharing by distributing shirkur markets to the poor people. Another events were Independence Day. Students were divided into groups and thanked to mankind services and social helpers. joy of sharing for our school drivers cleaners peons teachers day annual day and sports day included mine and my team's struggle and hard work and if get and if i get any other chance to work for school as a head girl i promise to work hard and try my level best inshallah my name is said swadhar azmi i am a deputy minister for cleanliness my responsibility is to clean the school, to to keep clean school buses uh, ground toilets and everything if it is not clean so i have told to my colleagues and khala i am shaykh shamir fatima and i am minister of tours and field trips of tripers academy students parliament 
as selecting cabinet members, there was elections. I was hard stopping to know the results. And at last, I became the cabinet member of tours and field trips. As my duty is to arrange the tours and field trips at different places. It was very difficult to find out the tour because the task was given to, to find that the place where the tour is going should be something educational with fun. And at last, I finally decided to arrange the tour at Kidzania, Mumbai. And it was really wonderful place. As a minister, my duty is to maintain discipline in the school premises as well as maintain discipline in the students. I and his ever served as the Deputy Minister of Cultural Affairs and it was a bit difficult task for me at the beginning. But Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me the opportunity and strength for fulfilling my duties. I personally believe in the way to get started is to be quiet talking and begin doing. So I started work so I started working with the entire team and Alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, we have given wonderful events this year such as Joy of Sharing, Independence Day, Sports Day, Annual Day and last but not the least, an enthusiastic carnival. And I wish to be a part of Pearl's Council members for the upcoming years and I assure you all that I will be working with the same zeal and inshallah. I will never be a wooden spoon. Jazakallah. My name is Shri Farida Fatima from 4A and I am the member of Eco Club. My work is to collect articles, drawings, riddles, jokes, etc. for the Eco Magazine, the paper of our school. Here are some articles and drawings. Jazakallah. I am the Motiwala of Grade 6 Day. will share my experience with you on my duty of school property maintenance. My work is to maintain the property of school like shelves, door, window, etc. During the programs, I and my minister take care of our property of school. Now, this year is coming to end, so I have enjoyed my post very much. Maintaining school property includes cleanliness, neatness of buses, corridor, library, AV room, computer lab, maths lab, chemistry lab, physics lab, etc. My name is Subhan Nafani from grade 7B. My designation is an education minister for the Pearls Academy School Parliament for 2017 and 18. As I am an education minister, my responsibilities are to, uh, to monitor academics, check the checking of books and record for which I have done for all the FAs and SS. My secondary responsibility is to be in discipline and monitor the school discipline. I have got an opportunity to be an, to be elected as an education minister for the Pulse Academy Student Parliament. I am Rayyan Siddiqui of 8B. I am the Minister of Cabinet for Transport. My duty is to allot work to the transport in charges and look after the dis discipline of the bus. Alhamdulillah, I have worked hard for developing our school transport. I'll change it. 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 Recently, our school management have changed the seat covers of the bus on my request. I and um, uh, our school president have requested to management for changing the seat covers of the bus. I am Adil Abdul Rahman from class 8B. As the minister for sports, my duties were to keep the students in discipline in, uh, in on the sport on the ground and in the corridor. I am Uzzam Patel of Grade 7 B. I am the Minister of School Property and Maintenance for the year 2017 and 18. My duty and responsibilities are to maintain the school property. I have to maintain the record of the school property and it is my proud that I have caught this opportunity to maintain my school discipline. Is there anything left to be arranged in your computer life? No, for the current academic year, we were having sufficient quantity of computers to conduct all the practicals. Is there any maintenance work uh, uh, pending? Maintenance, as far as maintenance is concerned, some of the keyboards and mouse are uh, getting damaged. Uh, other than that, everything is fine. So what is the future requirement for the every room and computer? 
we need to increase uh, AV rooms also and computer lab is also going to be developed for the next academic year as we are having more uh, number of admissions in the next academic year. I also have to inform about the damaged property to our president of school. I feel very proud to do such a nice duty for my school. Agenda for every meeting were framed and were given days prior to the meeting. The meetings were conducted under the guidance of our principal, Mr. Sheikh Sabir Ahmed. Many a time, Secretary of our school, Mr. Ashfaq Motiwala, Administrator, Mr. Mohammed Ibrahim, accompanied the students. Our school supervisors and the event in charge were also the part of cabinet meetings. As per the rule, attendance was conducted followed by updating of the duties by the ministers and the deputy ministers. The issues raised by the members were answered and resolved by the concerned minister. Recording of every meeting was done. The MOM were forwarded to the school authorities through proper channel. Alhamdulillah, it was an enriching experience for all the parliament members. Jazakallahu khair. Subhanallah.